Hi everyone, I'm Anuja Nagre. I'll be presenting how to deploy your first application to Azure Spring Cloud. There is a very good document provided by Microsoft and we'll be using the same today. There are four main steps that we need to cover. First is generate a basic Spring Cloud project, then provision a service instance, then build and deploy the application with public endpoint, and lastly, stream logs in real time. Once the prerequisites are taken care of, next step is to generate a Spring Cloud project. So here you can see a URL is already provided. You can copy paste this URL, which will take you to the Spring Initializer, where all the attributes are already selected. You can modify them as necessary for your project. There are some dependencies which are already present here. If you would need to add more dependencies, you can click on Add Dependencies and select the ones that are required for your project. Once all this is done, you can create a new project by just clicking on generate. It will create a zip file on your local system. Once you have downloaded the zip file, you can uh, unzip that file and import it in choice of your IDE. I have imported here in STS. Let's go back to the document and see what are the next steps. Next, we are going to uh, add this hello controller class in our application and build this application. I have just modified the return part to hello world. Right click on the project and run as maven build. While this is building, let's see what is the next step. Next step is to provision an instance of Azure Spring Cloud. For this, you need to have a Azure portal login. Once you log into Azure portal, you will have a subscription. If not, we have to create a new subscription. You will be able to see Azure Spring Cloud in Azure services. If not, you can click on search box, type Azure Springs. Uh, you will be able to go to Azure Spring Cloud. When you click there, you will be able to come to this page where you can click on create. Once you come to this page, you will be able to fill in all the project details for the Azure Spring Cloud. If you already have existing resource group, you can select that or else you can say create new and give the name for this resource group. Next, you can provide the service detail name and go to review and create. Once you review all these details and they are validated, you can click on create and you will be able to uh, create a new Azure Spring Cloud app. It takes little time to deploy this application. Meanwhile, we'll go and check the next steps. The next step is to build and deploy the app. For this, you can make use of CLI, Azure CLI, IntelliJ or Visual Studio. There are details provided in respective sections. For the demo purpose, I'll be using Azure CLI. We will go through each of these commands to create and deploy the application. Let's go to command prompt. First, we have to log in to Azure portal. For that, we use az login command. Once you click on that, it will point you to a browser where you have to log in. Choose the login. Once you are done with this step, it will point you back to the command prompt. Next step is you have to set the subscription. For that, we have this command. We can either take the name of the subscription or the ID. In this case, I have selected the ID of the subscription. Go back to the command prompt and paste the ID. Next step is to create the project. For that, we have to give the name of the project. Then next is the service instance name, resource group, and uh, we have updated those details over here. You can go back to the portal to see this information. In overview section, you will be able to see the service instance name and the resource group name. You can select these and put it here. Copy this section and paste it in the command prompt. It takes little bit time to complete this step. Once you finish with this step, next you can go to the portal and click on apps. You will be able to see the application over here. Now click on this application. Next step is to deploy the application. For that, we have this command where we need to update the name of the project, then provide the service instance name, 
and resource group name. Last part of this is artifact path, where we provide the jar file path and the name of the jar file. If we are already present in the target folder where we have the jar, we can simply say the name of the jar file and we can run this command. Go back to the command prompt and paste your command here. This command will start the deployment of the jar file. Once the deployment completes, we can go back to the portal. Once you finish refreshing the project, click on test endpoint and you will be able to see the message that we are returning. Let's check our last section, which is streaming logs in real time. For that, we will make use of this command where we have provided the name of the app, uh, the service instance details, resource group details, and we have specified 100 first 100 lines to be printed. Let's go back to the command window and uh, paste our command here. You'll be able to see these logs. That's it. We are done with our demo. Thank you.